Right, so express each of the following as a recurring decimal. Okay, so we've got a fraction here, which can be written as a decimal, and it turns out that it is a recurring decimal. Now, to do that, we've just got to appreciate fraction just means divide, yeah? So we're doing 1 divided by 9, and we can use the bus stop method to do that, yeah? So, because we're dividing by 9, we put 9 on the outside of the bus stop, and then with our um, bus stop, let's make it um, quite a lot long, okay? And I'm going to, because I'm doing 1 divided by 9, I'm going to put 1 here, yeah? Now, um, I can write 1 as 1 0, 0, 0, and so on. Okay, they can keep going like that forever. But there's nothing wrong with that because that's what one is, isn't it? One is 1.000 and so on. That's going to help us now. So when it comes to dividing, I want to divide by nine. And I ask myself, okay, well, nine, how many times does it go into one? And of course, nine won't go into one. So I'll put a zero there. Okay, because nine won't go into one. And of course, I've got to carry that one then, haven't I? Because I haven't used it. I've got one left over. And I carry that one and I place it here. Okay, place it where the zero is here. So this becomes 10, effectively then, yeah? We can see that as 10. Now, decimal point here, so we need to be consistent. I have a decimal point above in the answer. And then I ask the question then, how many times does nine go into 10? Okay, of course, nine goes into 10, well, once, yeah? But there's a remainder of one. And you can see that I've got 10 again, okay? So nine then into 10 goes once which gives me nine, and I've got one left over. And you can see then, this is just gonna keep going, isn't it? Nine into 10 goes once, remainder one, okay? And so on, right? We can just keep going, couldn't we? So you can see here that the ones just keep on going for forever, all right? So that's what it means by recurring, that it just keeps having a sequence of ones there, okay? All the way to infinity. Now, in terms of how we write this then, um, out, we don't wanna just write loads of ones, we can, Write this then as 0 0.1 with a dot above the 1, right? And that shows that the 1 there is recurring. Okay, let's look at the second one. So same same idea here, right? 15, we're dividing by. So that goes on the outside of the bus stop. And we're going to put 2 on the inside. And then, of course, long bus stop. So um, we've just put loads of zeros here then, yeah? Okay, so then um, 15 into 2, well, clearly 15 won't fit into 2, so we put a 0 there, and we'll carry the 2, okay, and just to be consistent then, put the decimal point above here, where it is in the question, and then 15 into 20, well, we know 15 goes into 20 only once, it gives me 15, and from 20 there's 5 left over, so I'm going to write 5 here, so we're a different number now, okay, it's not like we had before. Right, there's something different happening. So we've got 50 here. Now we ask the question then, 15 into 50, how many times? Well, 15 goes into 50, we think about it three times here. Yeah? Three lots of 15 gives 45. So there's five left over. So we put the five there, yeah? You can see what's happening now, yeah? What's gonna happen, because we do the same thing again. 15 into 50 goes uh, three times, which is 45. And 45 from 50, 5 left over. And it just keeps going like that then, yeah? 3 times 5 left over and so on. So you can see it's the 3 that's recurring. But in terms of how you write this, well, we've got to start off with 0 0.1 first. And then it's the 3 that recurs. If you put the dot above the 3 there, okay? So that's the answer for that. Uh, for the next one, 8 elevenths, okay? So we're dividing by 11. That goes on the outside of our bus stop. Um, so we've got 8 then, yeah, dividing, so let's write 8.000 0, 0, and so on. Nice spacing between the zeros so you can you can write what's being carried over. Decimal point up here, 11 then, well it doesn't go into 8, so we're going to put a 0 there, I'm going to carry that 8. Um, 11 into 80, well of course we know 11 goes into 87 times, okay. Um, that gives me 77, so there's 3 left over, okay, from 80, 3 left over, 11 then into 33 goes, sorry, 11 into 30 goes um, twice, yeah, because 2 lots of 11 is 22, so from 30, it's going to be 8 left over, okay.
okay um, so again slightly different to what happened before so we've got 80 so 11 then into 80 will be no because we saw that earlier goes into it seven times which is 77 so from 80 there's three left over um, 30 11 then into 30 goes twice because we saw it there and that's of course 22 so we've got then um, eight left over again so can you see now there's sort of a repeating sequence here so then we've got 80 again and we know 11 goes into 87 times 77 so three left over 11 and into 30 goes twice eight left over and so on right so what you can see here is is we've got a sequence of 7 2 7 2 7 2 7 2 and so on so we can write 8 11th as a zero point because it's a 7 2 that recurs in that sequence pattern there we put a dot above there and a dot above here so a dot where we start and a dot where we end okay so this one then is interesting to finish off 1 7 okay so when you're dividing by 7 um, something really interesting happens and we need to have quite a few zeros here to see the resulting pattern okay so I'm going to put a few more then maybe we'll see now so 7 into 1 doesn't go so I put a 0 there and carry the 1 7 into 10 goes once with 3 left over 7 into 30 goes 4 times which is 28 so 2 left over 7 into 20 goes into it twice which is 14 um, so 6 left over so it's all different isn't it 7 into 60 goes um, 8 times which is 56 so 4 left over 7 into 40 goes 5 times okay which is 35 so 5 left over 7 into 50 goes 7 times which is 49 and then we've got 1 left over yeah and we had 1 there so 7 into 10 goes once with remainder 3 7 into 30 goes 4 times so it all starts again then so you can see our sequence is 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7, and we're going to have the same then, 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7. So in this case, our recurring pattern can be written like this. So it's 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7 that repeats and recurs. So we can put a dot where the sequence begins and a dot where the sequence ends. Okay, so at most we're only going to have two dots.